YouTubeville. This is Anna, aka Boondog of Bliss, and there's Gigi right there for you. Anyway, I'm an occasional seller on Poshmark, Vinted, Mercari, eBay, Let Go, Five Mile, and Offer Up. I think I got them all. And sometimes Facebook, sometimes Facebook. Anyway, I'm coming to you to talk about Mercari. This is going to be a shorter shorter episode because I want to do three of them. I want to chop up Introduction to Mercari into three different pieces. One, let's talk about the app in general terms, a little bit on the company and why it gets my vote of confidence. Number two, episode number two, we'll talk about the all the functionality within the application and listing clothing, buying clothing, and all of that good stuff. And in number three, we are going to cover the questions that come up in episode one and two um, talk about hints and tips and hopefully get some answers uh, to you from Mercari. I wrote an email this weekend asking for some additional information on the functionality that currently does not exist, but it should because it used to. So we'll see if we get anything back. And hopefully that'll give you, you know, some info to get your feet wet, um, to give it a try. And like I said, I'll talk about the tips and hints on how to grow on Mercari and we'll talk about just like the any application out there, how to grow internally, what you can do internally to spark growth, and obviously externally to drive traffic from elsewhere to your store. So that's the plan. Stay tuned. Okay, so right here in the center of the screen, you should see the desktop version of Mercari, which at this time is not operational. And I'm not sure if there will ever be a desktop uh, Mercari version that the application was designed just strictly and directly for mobile use. So we will see. Poshmark made the plunge. Don't know if Mercari will. And as a matter of fact, I don't even go on the Poshmark um, uh, desktop. I, I just, it doesn't go as fast on, as on a mobile app. And because with the mobile app, I mean, I'm posting. I'm never at home just sitting and posting. I take pictures at home and then when I'm gone throughout the day, that's when I list. I list when I'm in the bathroom, you guys know that, I list when when I'm waiting in line, when I'm waiting in the parking lot. Uh, listing is so easy on Mercari um, and to be done just throughout the day as long as you have pictures. But anyway, I wanted to show you the website itself has a lot of great built-in information and so I wanted to go over some of these things with you. For one, what it has um, is the categories of things you can sell. That's the first question that comes up. What do you really sell on Mercari? Well, you can go on here and clearly see the categories. They have women, men, kids, home, vintage, collectibles, beauty, electronics, sports, outdoors, handmade, and other. Um, within each of the categories, there are additional, um, additional categories like the sub menus. And as you can see, they're all highlighted here. And this is really cool in the sense that you can hit any one of these that highlight and see a current inventory of those things, which I think is fantastic. Even if you're looking and you're like, what's a hobo purse? Let's see if they have purses here. Women's accessories or handbags. What's a hobo purse? Boom, there it is. Bunch of hobo purses. Mm -hmm, that's right. So anyway, so this is really cool for you to orientate yourself as to what's going on. Men, blazers, coats, kids, and all the categories, and I'm not going to to go through all of them, just wanted you know, wanted to let you know that this does exist. And as it relates to other, you can see the subcategories in that. I really do enjoy the handmade category, very similar to Etsy in a way, um, but they do sell a lot of collectibles and um, also more beauty products than, um, than I think I've seen on Poshmark. Let's see, and then other has categories by books, magazines, pets, day, um, daily and travel items, automotive, blah, 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 musical instruments, yada, yada, yada. So not only do you see the categories here, you are also able to get um, some information on the brands. And they have the brands by alphabetical order. So these are the brands that currently have a listing on Mercari. And you can check that out and click any one of those and see what is currently listed there. So it's also great for some research and brand familiarity. Now below at the very bottom, as with any website, there's additional information on the company. Um, you have the privacy policy, terms of, terms of service, yada, 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 about us. And I wanted to show you the co-founders. And here we have Ryo Ishizuka, Tomitoshima, and Shitaro Yamada 
are the founders. One of them, I don't know which one, is from Zynga. So you're very familiar probably with that name. It's a big gaming uh, company. So I don't know how a dude from Zynga ended up building a C2C platform for women's clothing. I think primarily that's what sells, right? C2C being customer to customer. Anyway, these dudes founded the company in 2013. So I didn't hear about it until early 2015. In 2014, they started to make their way to the U.S. And they are extremely well funded. So first when it kind of I've been reading about them um, from the beginning, if you really want to do some of some homework of your own um, on Crunchbase, which I've shared this website with you before, there is a chronological order of articles that were um, that were written throughout time on Mercari. Their story is really interesting. Um, if you have any time, read about it. But they're a sensation in uh, in Japan. They're the biggest C2C app in Japan, biggest selling uh, platform of this sort. They kind of um, talk about it, you know, as a flea market. Flea markets are really popular in Japan. This kind of takes the flea market. Um, to all corners of Japan, and it was just, it was really, really popular. They've been a private company, well, they've been, because there's plans of them going public, but they've been a private company since now, and they recently announced that they will be applying for IPO on the Tokyo uh, Exchange, and that's huge. They are to be the biggest public offering um, in, uh, in, this year or in history or something. They're just really big in Japan and we haven't heard much about them. Um, but anyway, with all that said, I could probably talk about it forever. You know where to find the information. The one thing that gave me just such a big boost in believing in this company is when on June 22nd, and I posted some information information on that on my boondogoblues.com uh, webpage, they hired a John, uh, John Laggerly, Langley Laggerly uh, from Facebook. So that was a really big step in the direction of customizing their product for the American market. And right after that happened, they began to revamp their app. Or no, it started before, I apologize. It started before they started to revamp their app. Uh, from what I understand is they wanted to redo the entire thing and make it more responsive for future enhancements and make it easy. Um, and so that's the updates we've been seeing, the facelift it received and the updates we're gonna to continue to see as they make this product better. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, um, outside of the investment in their leadership, um, they continue to staff up their location in San Francisco and Portland. They have numerous positions open. Um, they look like an amazing company to work for. I looked through kind of their information on their culture and what they're offering from a benefit perspective. So if you are in those areas, check them out. They look like amazing places to work. Um, and lastly, their funding is off the rook, uh, off the hook. Rook? What the hell's a rook? Off the hook. They are extremely well funded. There's a lot of money. Um, being poured into these guys and with money like that I do believe this app is just going to grow and get better and enhance and that's why at this point has my vote of confidence unlike that other app that I told you guys about that went out of business six months later after I talked about him fashion stash do you guys remember that this is not fashion stash this is Mercari it's, it's here to fight the good game okay it's here to compete with eBay and Amazon in the used clothing market space and more. So, anyway, um, if you want to do more stuff, go to Crunchbase. Do more stuff. Research more stuff. Um, there is a pretty good help center that uh, I want to refer you to. And um, it has little tutorials on, you know, how, to, how it works, whatever, whatever. Also, it has great resources for sellers. Uh, one of the things make sure you're always looking at is the um, uh, seller guide as well as the prohibited items list. So I'm going to quickly highlight some of the items that are prohibited. Make sure, excuse me, you don't get yourself into trouble, ladies and gentlemen. So things you should not be selling on Mercari. Anything illegal. You're probably thinking, well, what's illegal, right? That's not a black and white. Well, figure it out. 
So drugs, any type of RX, uh, anything, medicines, over-the-counter, not over-the-counter, just stay away from it. FDA restricted foods, stolen goods, counterfeit goods, such as those beautiful knockoff Louis Vuitton purses. No, 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 no. You're going to be listed and suspended if you are a reseller of counterfeit items. Weapons, no weapons, people, alcohol, tobacco, vaporizing liquid with nicotine, items that have been stolen, items not in your possession, drop shipping. So I wanted to highlight that because I know there's been some videos made on how to drop ship with Mercari, and I've even wanted to enter that game, but that is prohibited. And what is drop shipping? To give you an example about that is you finding something on Amazon that you know you can sell on Mercari for a little bit more money perhaps and and you do not ever have in possession that item so if someone bought something on Mercari you would order it on Amazon with free shipping if you're a Prime member that item would go directly to your customer so you just completed the transaction without ever holding this item that's been happening on Mercari it's prohibited people don't do it um, items that are a safety hazard blah 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 uh, let's see, what else? Gambling, financial products, live animals, do not send your little puppy in a box. Um, any type of computer malware, spyware, digital items you're not allowed to sell. Unlike Etsy, on Etsy you are able to sell your digital items that you produce. Human body parts, I'm sorry, you can't. You can't mail your hair to whoever or your poo or your whatever, just don't do it. Explicit items, sexually implicit, you know, suggestive, yada, yada, yada. Now, there's a more comprehensive list out there, just wanted to give you the highlight. Now, once, once you kind of get done looking through that and you want to sign up, please sign up and if you haven't already use my uh, sign up code with that I get two bucks and you get ten dollars off on your first purchase so I'm going to leave the code down below make sure you use it um, and if you don't that's okay I still love you the way you can find me once you register is just type in boondoggle bliss in the search window and you will find one of my listings and you'll be able to follow me and I'll show you that shortly that's that so to get started, you will be heading over to your app store, uh, downloading the application. Don't forget to use my code. And you can either register using Facebook or email. And now I'm going to direct you here on the left side uh, to see what that looks like. So when you download the app and open it up, you will be prompted to then, and I want you to keep an eye out over here, and then here you'll be asked to log in with Facebook or sign up with your email and SMS. So whatever works for you. I'm connected with Facebook already, so it's easy for me to go ahead and do that. Continue. And here I am. I am now in my account. So let's take it from the top. This is the home screen. The home screen will show you um, all of the categories that are available to um, to go shopping in and also obviously to post in and this is exactly what I showed you on their website it's exactly like that then right below that it'll have some type of a promotion uh, Mercari now is more um, more getting into the drop prices and get a discount to do this and that so there's a lot more happening which is which is very um, interesting and it kind of makes it more fun right then um, you have obviously your items with a 10 off coupon, which is the highlighted promotion. Um, below that, you will see your likes. So anything you've liked, it'll keep a history of that. And you can um, see all of them as well on the right side of your app. You're always going to have the see all link. Then you have your recently viewed. And this is both your items that you recently viewed that you have in your closet and those of others. Then you will see newly listed items, cell phone and accessories. So they have some categories. Um, don't know yet if that is designed there based on your shopping preferences and what you've been looking for. Um, you know, for gentlemen, perhaps they wouldn't be seeing makeup as a category on their homepage, but maybe, you know, sports stuff or whatever. Yes, I'm stereotyping, stereotyping. Now, right below that is sellers you may like, and that is basically um, active sellers on uh, Poshmark. I, oh my God, on Mercari. I might be miss, you know, miss saying it um, on, on Mercari. So definitely check them out, follow them, see what they're doing. Then they have some brands. Oops, I keep trying to scroll on the freaking desktop screen instead of my app. Um, so here are some more categories and brands and then recently sold. I want you to notice this recently sold. That's very important. This functionality was here before, but it wasn't as easily uh, found. But this is how you're going to do your competitive intelligence on Mercari. Um, first, see what recently sold. This has the most recently sold items. 
if you want to kind of drill further down and see what's recently sold in your favorite brand or category, you do have a filter in the upper right hand corner and you can then select your category, your brand. Let's see what's been selling in LuLaRoe, for example. Um, you have size, uh, the ability to uh, indicate the size, condition, yada, yada. And then, did I press the search? Apply, here we go, apply. Am I doing this right or is it because you're looking at me? Um, I'm not doing it right. Did I pick brand? Oh, I didn't actually pick LuLaRoe. 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 Apply. Here we go. So here are the most recently sold LuLaRoe items. I wonder, let me check real quick. Yeah, just like in Poshmark, it does have a stamp when there was the most recent activity on, on that listing. This sold four hours ago. So if you go really deep, let's see. This sold 21 hours ago. So you can kind of gauge what sold in the last 24 hours. Um, so that's the reason I was showing you that. So that is your sold um, section. And then additional sections here, which I'm not going to go into. Okay. So basically that's your wall, your screen, your whatever, whatever you want to call it. Then right next to it is the famous search function. This is if you want to get really specific and look for something um, just very, very specific. The filters allow you to drill down just like before. Um, and what is really cool about it is that it saves your searches. So if you want to look at that again, you just click on it. You don't have to retype the whole thing. But let's, let's do a search for Lush dresses. Okay, search automatically bring those up to brings those up to you. And then you have the ability to once again, filter down, drill down and see um, you only want to see things that are for sale, not sold. You only want to see free shipping, whatever, whatever your your preferences are. And there you are. So that's your search function. I'm going to skip the sell function. I'm going to go over that just a little bit. The next category, I'm sorry, the next kind of um, navigational section for you is your inbox. And your inbox is now classified into just random notifications. Um, and that would be if uh, someone liked your item, if something went on sale that you liked, you're going to be notified in here. But what is really cool is not right next to that now we have a selling inbox and a buying inbox. So it separates the conversations you're having on items that you are selling um, against the ones that the conversations you're having on the stuff that you're buying. So I thought that was really cool and it makes life a little bit easier because sometimes I get lost on the other apps uh, when it comes to that, especially if you're doing higher volume. So I really appreciate this, ha having this here. I'm having a conversation here with someone and it's just like on any direct messaging system. It's, first of all, it's just between me and the buyer. Um, and you have the ability just to go back and forth and no one else sees it. And that's the other thing that's really cool about Mercari. In the recent update or the one before that, the conversations that happen on any particular item were displayed for others to see. So you know how sometimes there's like a zinger, someone put something in there that you're like, oh my God, now you've ruined my listing because you're talking about the authenticity of the item or you're questioning my pricing or you found someone else that is selling this for cheaper. Um, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You can't, no one's gonna see that. Conversations are private and I think that's fantastic. Homepage and on here, what you will find is you have the gear icon and then you have this little doodad. It's like an eye with a person. This is where you click on to see your actual closet as, um, as the format in which others see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and show you what that looks like. If anyone comes and visits my closet, this is what they're going to see. They're gonna see my headshot. They're gonna see my ratings. They have the ability to click on my ratings and see exactly how many I have. Doing great good and poor. I don't have any pores. You can scroll through and see what, you know, what people are saying. So that's good stuff. Uh, going back. 
Then um, I really like to see this on people that I'm buying from. This means that they've been confirmed, you know, via email, via Facebook, and via phone. So the more of those verification things you have, the more credible, credible you are as a seller on there. So just keep that in mind. Then you have um, all of my um, all of my items. Right on top here, you have the ability to switch on and off um, my sold items. So if you just want to see what's available and not want to see all those silly sold uh, boxes, you can go ahead and turn that off. So now you only see what is available. Um, let's see. Oh, I forgot. Read more. Read more. This is your intro. Make sure you use the character limit. The character limit is pretty small. So um, use it how you see fit. I used to have a pretty extensive write-up, but I decided to narrow it down, keep it simple, and that's that. <clears throat> so here are all my items. You can scroll through. The one drawback as it currently stands with Mercari is your inability to sort your items within your closet and for the buyer to sort items in your closet. So if the buyer wanted to see all the brands I currently have listed and you know sort by most expensive, least expensive, they do not have any sorting capability. And that is one of their hugest drawbacks on Mercari. So hopefully someone out there is working on, on that. Um, and then especially if you are a seller and you're list and you're looking for something that you have in your closet and you have what, like, let's see, how many do I have? Oh, no longer says, uh, following follower selling. Yeah. I don't have my, my number anymore of how many things I have listed, but I have about 1500 um, items listed over time and that includes all the things that are sold and deactivated and all of that. You can't go and look at something that you listed six months ago quite easily. You have to scroll through looking for those items. Sorry, let me get back to that. You have to scroll through looking for all of them and that's annoying. Anyway, going back now from the view of the buyer to your, to your inbox. Um, you have how many people are following you and you can of course click on that and see who's following you and go back and reciprocate. Then you can see, oh my gosh, sorry, misspoke. How many people you are following, how many people are following you. So I have 572 followers and let me assure you that just happened recently since I started to post those wholesale boxes and advertising on Instagram before I was like a hundred something followers. Um, so don't get hung up on that at all. Um, Here's my balance, number of coupons I have available. Um, below that is my, um, my uh, invite code. So here's the invite code. I get two bucks, you get 10, that's a great deal. X-E-H-X-D-K. So make sure you use that. You have a 200 credit max and yeah, I'm nowhere near being maxed out. I do have some, but anyway, moving on. Then below that you have your um, kind of like your inventory management system. Currently you have all the things that are on sale which are active. Then you can see your, all your items that are in progress, meaning items that are awaiting shipping or items that have been shipped. And then right next to that you have all of your completed items. So everything that's been sold, rated, and money has come to you, you're able to review. Once again, having any reporting functionality um, it, it, it's it's lacking in that area, um, so just keep that in mind. But that's that for now. I hope we get something that will allow us to run a report on what we've sold or something. Otherwise, it's all a manual. Okay, next up, you should know that you have the ability to put your store on vacation. I'm pretty sure you didn't know that you can on Mercari. Well, it's not actually called vacation mode, okay? What you do is you go into the three dots in the upper right hand corner and you say deactivate all items. At that point, they will not be visible to anyone who comes shopping for your stuff. So there's pros and cons to that, of course. Um, so when you go on vacation, you can just leave a note and make sure that if anyone by accident sells, uh, buys something from you, that you um, communicate with them and let them know that you're not there to ship the item and you can cancel and they can purchase it later or they can wait. Naturally, you run the risk of them being dissatisfied. So you kind of got to deal with that. 
But if you're going for a really long vacation, I highly recommend to just deactivate all your items, especially the way Mercari works. You won't feel as big of a hit as you would if you were on eBay or Poshmark, for example. Mercari is more of a in and out type of um, uh, app, selling app. So people will people are buying what's current and what people are submitting. They're the stuff that you listed six or seven months ago, no one's really ever going to look at that. So just understanding how it works, I think, will put your mind at ease in uh, deactivating all the items. So that feature is here now where it hasn't been before, so that's very exciting. Next up, so right after selling, you have buying, and buying, of course, is the same thing, but selling, right? So you anything you purchased will be in, your, in progress, um, anything you completed, which keep pressing the freaking screen. As you can see, I went on a uh, LuLaRoe binge on skirts and dresses this last month. So you can see my completed purchases. Anything that doesn't fit will be listed on Poshmark. But anyway, this is the stuff in progress, blah, blah, blah. Then you have your category of your likes. Anything that you've liked, there's a record of it, which is sweet, right? All my likes are in there. Right after that, you have the Help Center. The Help Center information is pretty much the same thing as we saw on the website where um, on the desktop version where we went into the Help Center, all the same categories and all the same information. It has the search functionality naturally. Then but last but not least are your settings and your settings are available via the gear icon that's in the upper left hand corner or naturally right here. Um, you have the ability to edit your account, edit your profile. With editing your profile, you pretty much can, the only three things you can do is change your photo, edit your username, and put in a description. There's just not much else you can do with that. Then, of course, which I'm not going to click on, you can update your address, your payment information, and you should know you have the ability to work with your notifications. For example, I detest getting emails on anything related to Mercari except for the shipping label. So I made sure to go ahead and deactivate um, all the notices for that. Then I'm kind of not in a place where I really want to see a lot of price reduction uh, things. I have announcements on there because Mercari sometimes makes announcements on their promotions or something that's going on, so I want to see them. Obviously, I only get announcements when there's a transaction taking place when someone buys something. And then Let's see, messages. When someone has written me, I want to know about it. If someone like my stuff, I do not want to see it. It's the last thing I want to see. <clears throat> okay, going back. Then we have our balance, credits, and coupons section. My balance uh, will show me my amount that is available to be transferred to my bank account. And then it shows my recent deposits. So it goes through and shows you all of the stuff that I've deposited all the way since I started. Actually, now that I have you here with me, what I'm going to do is go ahead and transfer my balance to my bank account. And I'm going to do the entire, the entire balance, just get it out of the way, confirm, transfer balance. Off it goes. It tells me. Um, the money will be transferred, 925, 928. Awesome, it's gonna be there for me to go shopping. So money's in the bank. Okay, where are we? Settings. So that's uh, the balance information. Credits, that's all of the credits that you've received and you used or they expired. Coupons, if there are any coupons available, they'll be listed here. And then your standard version, licenses and logout. So that's it. It's pretty stinking simple, right? It's pretty simple. Okay, let's move on to a basic overview of the selling, um, the selling screen. I don't want to go into too much detail because I'll make a subsequent video on that. But in order to sell something, the create listing template looks like that. You have the ability to save drafts. So if you're, you know, your doctor's office and you're creating something and they call you in, you're not going to lose it. Just save it. So you can go in and uh, fetch your used drafts right there, and you can have many of them going on at the same time. You have four pictures, a um, uh, limit of four pictures in there at this time. Your item title with the 40, 
40 character limit, your um, details, which of course are optional with a thousand character limit. Then you have your categories and your categories, you already know we went over them. Um, so you want to select the one that best fits the item that you're selling. Then followed by that, once you select the item, it'll open up additional fields based on the item that you selected. So in this case, we get brand as an optional field and sizing is mandatory. So you do have a size chart available. If you click on that little other than that, you have the standard standard fare of options as anywhere else going all the way up to 5XL and you have one size also as an option which you can exercise when you have something that of unusual unusual sizing you can put one size and then write in the description what what that means um, to the to the potential buyer you have your conditions new like new good fair and poor um, that you have your ships from and then the best part and once again I'll go over that more in detail you have the decision of whether you will be paying for the shipping or the buyer will be paying for the shipping and if the buyer is paying for the shipping you have the options of under five ounces it's four dollars five ounces to three pounds is six dollars three to ten is nine dollars ten to twenty is fifteen and on the five ounce label the weight limit on the label says um, eight ounces so just be aware of that if something weighs 5.5 or 6 you you can still get it through but just be very careful and this pricing is the best um, for higher higher weighing items there is no pricing available with any other uh, selling apps that even comes close to this so I don't know how Mercari um, negotiated that I have an idea um, I think because they over collect or over overprice on the lower paying items that kind of subsidizes the the rest and they're assuming the higher volume of items they're going to sell are smaller and so they projected that out and maybe USPS said yes fine great or I don't know that's how in my head it went about um, and then you post so like I said in the next video we're going to talk about all of the details of posting we're going to post several items and see how it all works as well as we're going to discuss pricing strategies um, I, I know that's a topic that's very near and dear to everyone's heart and i'll show you some of the cool new features that mercari introduced that will help you with the pricing decision my story with mercari has been very up and down. I, as I recall the videos I've made on YouTube, there's been times where I loved Mercari, there's been times where I hated Mercari and I gave up on it and I wasn't selling anything. So it's very much a love and hate. But now I'm on the kick that, I, <laughs> that I'm loving it just because I'm probably having more success so naturally I feel better about it. But um, when I first started with Mercari back in April of 2015, they did not have a commission. So whatever you listed your item as is what the amount that you receive, which was fantastic. Since then, they introduced the 10%, and I, I truly believe that is completely fair. And I wouldn't want them to move it up just because I don't feel we get, um, we get enough of the inventory management kind of systems and other marketing type systems to drive traffic or drive uh, sales that you know, it wouldn't be worth more than 10%. But should they really take take the bull by the horns and introduce the things that we really want, um, I, I wouldn't be opposed to talking about different commission structures. I do believe in commission structures, not one set for all. But I know from a programming standpoint, efficiency standpoint, it's really easy um, to have just one big flat rate. Now, uh, the other thing I really appreciate about Mercari is definitely the shipping, the ease of shipping, the shipping options, the ability to pay shipping for someone. I do, do enjoy having that. I don't exercise it very often, but I do enjoy it. Um, the other thing I really enjoy about uh, Mercari is just the efficiency and speed of which you can list. It has the least fields to enter, and I really, really, really enjoy that a lot. Um, Poshmark has additional fields, you know, like with colors and something else. I did a comparison one time and Mercari has two less fields um, than Poshmark, so that was great. And there's a lot of things that I'm currently missing that they used to have, such as picture editing capability, 
previously you were able to cut, rotate, and do some stuff to the pictures. Right now, nothing exists. Previously, you were able to rotate the pictures in the sequence and order you wanted them, and right now, does that does not exist. Um, so some of those things I'm looking forward to having back, and hopefully we will. Um, but I do have a picture uh, list this long of all the things that I would love to have. So if anyone out there in Mercari land, anyone out there, if you want to know that list, call me. Call me. Uh, for a small commission of 10%, I'll make it happen. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everyone. I love you all. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, like I said, on the next episode, we're going over listing. We're going over tactics of increasing your sales. We're going over just managing your inventory and all of the day-to-day -day stuff. We're going to do deep dives as to what the little icons mean, um, such as the heart and the eye and how to use that to your advantage when you're managing your inventory and many, many more. Cheers. Love you all. Bye.